Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the latest Switchblade drones from the United States military. Please remember to like and subscribe. Now let's get right into it. Fact 1. One time use. Unlike other drones that you see on TV and movies, the Switchblade drones are disposable, one time use only. That's why they also have a nickname, the Kamikaze drones, because these drones fly directly into the target and explode, and is not intended to be recovered and reused. The sole reason that this is intended is because by making Kamikaze one-time use drones, you can use very cheap parts, you can save on a lot of propulsion power because it only needs a one-way trip, and so it could make these drones super lightweight and quickly deployed. That is the whole point of the Switchblade drone, because previously the air support was way too slow, and now it could be carried by field soldiers. Let's get into the next fact, fact 2, first used in Afghanistan. Despite making recent news about Switchblade drones in the Ukraine fighting against Russia, the Switchblade drones actually saw first combat use in Afghanistan when the United States military went to that country to take over the Taliban and try to install a pro-Western democratic government. Of course we all know how that went, eventually the Taliban still took over, but it is because of the experience in Afghanistan and the general war on terror that the Switchblade drones were conceived and deployed. As I mentioned in the previous section, in the beginning of the war on terror and the war in Afghanistan, the United States military found out that whenever the field soldiers need air support, by the time they radio for assistance and the aircraft finally makes its way to the target area, the enemy is long gone. This is because it is not a conventional war anymore, it is always a guerrilla style fighting. And so, by using disposable one-time kamikaze drones, the field soldiers could bring their air support with them on their backpacks and deploy them very quickly against enemy targets. This provided a much easier flexibility on air support. Right, let's get into the next fact. Fact 3, the Switchblade 600. The first iteration of the Switchblade drones was the Switchblade 300 and it's proven that it is able to take out targets quickly in the field However, the problem is the Switchblade 300 is rather small, and so the explosive that it packs is small. As a result, the Switchblade 300 cannot destroy fortified targets such as tanks or armored personnel carriers or even bunkers. And so the United States military realized they need a bigger, badder version of the Switchblade, and they created the Switchblade 600 as a means to combat this situation. The Switchblade 600 is designed to pierce armor vehicles, tanks, and bunkers. It carries a much larger warhead or explosive, and so it has much greater destruction power than the Switchblade 300. This is likely another learning from the field that the Switchblade 300 was simply too small, too light to make heavy impacts on fortified positions. And so the 300 is now evolved into the 600. Great, let's get into the next fact. Fact 4, Maritime Usage. We've been talking a lot about the switchblade usage in Afghanistan, Ukraine, and so forth, but did you know that the United States Navy also has a keen interest in switchblade drones? That's right, the Naval Special Forces have also procured switchblade drones for use in maritime environments. And this makes total sense, because with the Switchblade drone, you could easily fire the drone from a ship to targets that are in remote locations or small targets, for example, a small pirate dinghy or fishing trawler, and destroy them from beyond the line of sight. I think it makes total sense that the Navy needs these type of drones as well, because in a combat situation, you simply cannot wait for aircraft support. 
you need to deploy right away. And the Switchblade drones provide that solution. Any sailor on a ship could quickly fire off a Switchblade drone, guide it to a target, and immediately destroy it. This is much faster and more efficient for combat situations on sea. Great, let's get into the next and final fact, electric engine. I think this is one of the key features of the Switchblade drones which makes it so powerful. In the past, drones were all powered by engines that make super loud sounds as it spins the propellers. The Switchblade drones uses an electric motor which is super quiet to spin the propellers and as a result the enemy never hears it coming. One of the feedback from the war in Afghanistan and other combat situations is that when air support comes in it is so loud and it gives time for enemy to run away for cover and avoid the drones. The switchblade drones are quiet and really the only time you hear the buzzing sound of the electric motor spinning the propeller is when the drone is about to land on you. And so I think the electric motor is really what differentiates the switchblade drones from all the other drones in the past and what makes it so effective because it could be a very silent killer. Alright, that's it for my video today. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.